don't worry. If you are afraid on the barracuda, is not capable of eating the whole body of a person, only a half of you. <laughs> we all know that Koran, Palawan, is also famous for its pristine white beaches, alluring caves, and breathtaking World War II shipwreck diving sites. Located in northern Palawan, the Philippines, it is just an hour's plane ride from Manila to Busuanga Airport and another hour's jeepney ride from Busuanga to Koran. The island, as they say, is the quieter and more laid-back younger sibling of El Nido. But nonetheless, Koran is listed in Forbes Traveler magazine's top 10 best scuba diving sites in the world, and was voted the best island in the world in 2014, by the Condé Nast Traveler Reader's Choice Awards. But aside from its beautiful beaches, caves, and shipwreck diving sites, Koran has offered something more. Something, mesmerizing something captivating the kayanon and barracuda lakes without further ado here are the 20 interesting facts about these two famous lakes that i've mentioned some of you will find it intriguing while others find it disturbing viewers discretion is advised at number 20 did you know that if you will visit kayanon and barracuda lake in koran palawan you will travel from koran island to another koran island Yes, because the island where the lakes are located is also named Koran Island. At number 19. Kayanon Lake is much more bigger than Barracuda Lake. Kayanon Lake has a length of 4.1 kilometers while the Barracuda Lake has more or less 2.6 kilometers in length. At number 18. The lakes are home to the indigenous Tagbanwa people, who also serve as caretakers. The Tegbanwa tribe has been living on the islands of Palawan since long before Magellan visited the Philippines. They have their own unique traditions, cultures, and religions. Many historians believed that they were the direct descendants of the Taban Man, one of the oldest Homo sapiens fossil in Southeast Asia. At number 17. Kayanon Lake is dubbed by visiting tourists as the clearest and cleanest lake in Asia. You can easily spot the bottom of the lake and even see small fishes swimming in the limestone below. At number 16. If Kayanon Lake is famous for its resident monkey, Barracuda Lake is more famous for its resident fish, the Barracuda. If you ever ask the question, is the Barracuda in that lake dangerous to humans? Let's hear the answer from the local tourist guide. And the most highlights in here is the barracuda fish. The barracuda fish is a meter long and kindly this one big. Okay? So don't worry. If you are afraid on the barracuda, it's not capable of eating the whole body of a person. Only a half of you. Okay? <laughs> Just kidding. Our barracuda here is vegetarian. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Number 15 on our list Kayanon Lake is more crowded, family friendly, and perfect for free divers, while Barracuda Lake is secluded and a haven for professional scuba divers. Let's go to number 14. Aside from the resident barracuda, there are ugly dwarf catfish and large brine shrimp that are present in the barracuda lake. And they love to nibble on the feet and hands of unsuspecting divers and swimmers. The nibbling itself produces a weird tingling sensation. At number 13. The Tegbanwa tribe believed that spirits inhabited and safeguarded the lakes, whom they called the Panyaan. It is present in the forest, in the trees, the surrounding rivers, and the seas. Disrespecting these dwellings will bear the wrath of these spirits. At number 12. Barracuda Lake has a thermocline and halocline that refers to the salinity and temperature gradients of the surrounding waters. From the first 4 meters, you'll experience a soothing cool 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and upon reaching 14 meters, you'll experience a thermocline of 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, way above the normal human body temperature. And the water will turn cool again once you reach around 34 to 35 meters below. Now we're at number 11. 
At 35 meters below the Barracuda Lake lies the jelly-like silt that, when disturbed, turns the water's visibility from clear to zero. This is because of the tannic acid from the leaves that fell into the lake. We're moving on at number 10. The crystal clear waters of these two lakes can be deceiving to some people. Kyanon Lake has a depth of 6 to 10 meters or even more in some parts of the lake, while Barracuda Lake is estimated to be 40 meters deep. A recorded death by drowning happened in the Kyanon Lake. One incident took place in 2019, when a 23-year-old boatman named Basil T. Aguilar of Barangay Marcilla, Coron Town, died of drowning. The other one are the two Czech tourists Jakub Brazda, 25, and Martin Sefcik, 28, that happened in 2017. Here are the actual footage of their bodies being recovered. But did you know that the deepest lake in the Philippines is the Tall Lake? Yes it is. Tall Lake is a volcanic crater. Would you dare to swim in a volcanic crater? Let me know in the comments below. At number 9. The reason Barracuda Lake has both salty and fresh water is because of an aquifer. An aquifer is a body of rock that holds groundwater. There are two types of aquifer, confined and unconfined. In the case of the Barracuda Lake, it is an unconfined aquifer. There's fractured limestone below where the seawater can seep in. We are now at number 8. The Kayanon Lake is also called the Blue Lagoon, while the Barracuda Lake is also known as the Luluyuan Lake. At number 7. Kayanon Lake, if viewed inverted from above, resembles a woman's stiletto. Moving closer, at number 6. At some level below the Barracuda Lake, you will experience weightlessness like you're walking on the moon. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> now let's move on to number 5. Barracuda Lake is devoid of flora and fauna. No seaweeds, no moss, and not a single plant like life in the lake. At number 4. Barracuda Lake got its name not just from its famous resident Barracuda, but also for the large Barracuda skeleton found in the bottom of the lake. How large is it? No one knows exactly. Did someone get a photo of that Barracuda skeleton? Let me know in the comments below. We're inching closer. At number 3. Kainan Lake's composition is 70% fresh water and 30% salt water, or, in short, brackish water. Therefore, not all lakes are freshwater lakes. Almost done. At number 2. Aside from its famous Barracuda resident, other marine life that is present in Barracuda Lake are groupers, shrimp, gobies, trevally, dwarf catfish, crayfish, rabbitfish, batfish. I said batfish, not batman. Now let's continue. Where are we again? Oh, the marine life. And snapper and puffer fish are also present in the Barracuda Lake. The puffer fish is a delicacy in Japan. They called it fugu. 23 people have died in Japan since 2000 just by eating fugu. Tetrodotoxin poison from puffer fish is 200 times more deadly than cyanide. And there's no known antidote. Why would people eat that? Before we proceed to number 1, please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button, or I will summon the spirit to stare at you tonight while you're sleeping in your bed. Finally, at number 1. There is a 30 meter long cave near the bottom of the Barracuda Lake. The cave is so small that only one person can fit. It is so dangerous to go inside, and the cave is only for experienced scuba divers. So there you go. You can now pack your bags and visit Koran, Palawan, Philippines. Kainan and Barracuda Lake are truly one of a kind tropical paradises. Always remember, wherever you go, leave no trace, keep nature's pace, take only memories, leave only footprints. Nature's beauty is our duty. Respect the land and lend a helping hand. Give nature a break and keep it free from waste. Leave the trail undisturbed, nature will be unperturbed. Clean up after yourself, it's good for your health. Keep nature pure, it's our one sure cure. Pack it in, pack it out, and let nature's beauty shout. Keep it natural, keep it clean, and a better world will be seen.